Welcome to Ring Theory. During The Lord of the Rings, it's clear that the character we know as Gandalf has many names and titles given to him by people all over Middle-earth. But why did he have so many names, and what were they? In this video, I'll be taking a closer look. After Gandalf arrived in Middle-earth in the Third Age, he never took up a permanent residence. His constant wandering led him to be known by most cultures in Middle-earth. This, I believe, to be the key reason he never had one name or title. For his very first name, we have to go back to even before the First Age of Middle-earth. His first name was Olorin. He was not called this by anyone in Middle-earth, as this was his original name whilst he dwelt in Valinor, given after his creation by Eru Iluvatar. Olorin was a Maya, created to serve the Valar, and was associated with fire and light. Another name he was known as was Anastari. This is just another name for the wizards who were sent to Middle-earth. Gandalf, Saruman, Radagast and the two blue wizards made up the five Istari. They all appeared as old men, Gandalf specifically in grey, this being the basis for several of his names and titles. Mithrandir was another one of his most popular names, one we read frequently in the text. We hear it so often because both the elves and the men of Gondor know him by this name. Mithrandir is also Sindarin, which is another language for the elves, for Grey Pilgrim or Grey Wanderer, which he is also called on occasion in Gondor. Incanus is a name we know less about and seem to be his name in the south near Harad. Although unconfirmed, a note in Thane's book hints it's simply a name in the Haradrim language meaning North Spy. Tharkun. This name is bestowed on Gandalf by the dwarves. In their secret language of Kuzdul, it means Grey Man or Staff Man. This is my personal favourite as I love the harshness of the dwarf language. Greyhaim, or Gandalf Greyhaim, is another one of his titles which is usually known by in the region of Rohan, obviously relating to his grey attire. In the films, you'll be familiar with King Theoden referring to Gandalf by this title before realising he is now upgraded to Gandalf the White. Stormcrow. In the same sequence, you'll see Grima Wormtongue referring to Gandalf as Gandalf Stormcrow. To my knowledge, this is only used once in the entire story by Grima to describe Gandalf, and I believe the meaning is that the very appearance literally foreshadows trouble, a storm crow. Old Greybeard He is called this by the mouth of Sauron at the Black Gate, and it appears to be used as an insult, similarly to Storm Crow. As Gandalf would have been just as well known among the different evil beings in Middle-earth, I wonder just how many different various colourful names for him they had. The White Rider This is an interesting one, and one where I call out to my listeners, who I know many have better Lord of the Rings knowledge than myself, to help me with an explanation. He is clearly called this by the men of Gondor whilst riding Shadowfax. By this point, he is Gandalf the White, and riding a white horse, so the semantics themselves make sense. However, being called THE White Rider infers to me that it's something the people of Gondor were already aware of. Could they be mistaking him for Saruman? Only I don't know of any times Saruman was known for riding a horse around Gondor. Please let me know in the comments if you can shed any light on this for me. So why did Gandalf have so many names? Like I stated at the start of the video, his many years wandering would have been the main reason. This speaks to the great complexity of Tolkien's world. His knowledge of history and language is nothing short of incredible. Travelling over so many centuries in Middle-earth would cause all of the different people and cultures to know him differently, depending on their experiences with him. Similarly to how each culture has a different name and associated folklore for Santa Claus. Of course, Tolkien does this with other wandering characters as well, most notably Aragorn, who is known as Strider, Dunedain or Elisar. Please let me know in the comments below what your favourite name for Gandalf is, and if there's any names that I've missed. Thanks for watching Ring Theory. On this channel I'll be focusing on anything and everything to do with the Lord of the Rings. Tolkien lore from the books, 
the original trilogy and the new TV show. If you liked the video and want to hear more, please drop me a like and hit the subscribe button below.